2nd Battalion of the 1st Parachute Brigade, under the command of Colonel John Frost, succeeded in reaching the bridge at Arnhem. They were only able to capture the northern end, but believed they could hold it until the rest of the division, where the tanks of 30 Corps, arrived. Throughout the 18th, the remainder of the 1st Parachute Brigade fought to reach the bridge, but only got within one mile and took heavy casualties in the process. No further attacks could take place. This is what the John Frost Bridge looks like today. It's not the original bridge, as it was destroyed later on during the war by the Allies to deny its use to the Germans. The Germans launched heavy and repeated infantry and tank attacks against the British paratroopers in the buildings around the bridge, but failed to dislodge them. On the 19th, the Germans shifted their tactics and started a heavy artillery barrage over the area occupied by Frost men in an attempt to blow them out of their positions by systematically demolishing the buildings they occupied. Infantry and tank attacks continued, but they were repulsed just like the earlier ones. By 20 September, the paratroopers were running low on ammunition. One by one, their positions began to fall to German attacks. Their entire defense collapsed on the 